Hello, my friends. COVID-19 has put everyone under lockdown. Now going out for shopping is a real problem. However, worry not, my friends, because Shroom Academy will show you how to make a grow box without getting out for shopping. For this little project, we'll need an old USB wire, an old PC cooler. We'll take an old USB cable and solder it to the cooler. This little contraption will be powered by a small USB power adapter. Therefore, the ventilation for our future grow box is complete. We will need an ultrasound air humidifier and our particular model has a capacity of 1 liter. We will connect a small hose to the output of our air humidifier. After some measurement, we will remove the excess hosing. Next, we will mark and cut our 19 liter bottle. You can use either knife or a saw. However, the plastic near the handle is rather thick, so the knife will not do. You'll need a small saw for that. But be careful not to cut yourself. Cut off the handle and cover the bottom hole. with the duct tape. Let's make sure that everything is attached solidly with the duct tape. And then we'll connect our humidifier. Next we'll solder our PC cooler to our USB wire. It's rather simple. Red to red, black to black. One of the best places to connect the cooler is about the bottleneck. So, we'll take a bottle, which is just one liter, cut off the bottom, attach our collar, then cut off the top and put everything together with the duct tape. We'll mark our smaller bottle and cut it accordingly. We will create the small petals out of the cuts and this will become the basis for our cooler. Next we will screw our cooler to the petals. We will cut the same petals on the other side of the bottle. So that we can attach it to our bigger bottle. Again, the duct tape is our best friend here. Now let's check everything. Now let's verify if everything is working properly. We can see that the air is blowing and the humidity is coming. So everything works fine. We'll put a little bit of water at the bottom of the bottle and we'll power over some clay pebbles. And inside we have placed our lion's main spawn. After the week's testing we can see that the one guy is pretty happy. The primordia have developed into beautiful fruiting bodies. After a few days more the spawn has grown even a bit more and the final construction looks something like this. Thank you for the view. Please like the video, subscribe to our channels and stay tuned. Bye.